Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, great. So thank you for... I'll make sure I'll slide, uh, lean back the other way. Okay. Yeah, great. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to... You're very welcome. ...to ask you questions. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton called uh, Ukrainian parliamentary election a step back um, uh, from uh, democracy. Um, could you elaborate on uh, this statement? Well, Secretary Clinton uh, issued that statement after the elections, and she specified that... Uh, when you compare the election that was conducted last month to the parliamentary elections that were held in 2006 and 2007 and the presidential election from 2010, that we saw these elections as a step backward in comparison with those. Um, what was the most troubling uh, in this election from your point of view? Well, uh, we shared uh, a number of the concerns that were cited by the OSCE and the other international monitors. And some of the things that they cited were uh, uh, freedom of the media in this campaign. Um, they cited uh, the, some of the conduct of the, uh, of the electoral commissions, particularly the district electoral commissions. Uh, they cited the um, favoring of uh, the government candidates with, uh, with uh, official resources. Um, and they also talked about um, uh, problems encountered by opposition candidates uh, that, uh, that, were, that were, uh, we were concerned about as well. So all of those things that, we, uh, that cited by the international observers, we shared in those concerns. Um, last week, uh, the Washington Post published uh, an editorial and uh, actually said that uh, this election was uh, falsified uh, in, uh, in benefit and benef in, to benefit uh, President Yanukovych and his uh, party. Uh, do you share that, uh, that concern and that position? Well, we saw uh, a number of problems with the campaign. Uh, and I think that the observers put it well when they said there was not a level playing field in the course of the campaign. Uh, we also saw, as the observers did, there were some positive things about the conduct of the campaign in terms of access for uh, international and domestic observers, the conduct of the voting itself, um, and uh, so these things, you know, there were some positive aspects to it, but on balance, we thought that it was a step backward and that there were a number of problems, especially in the course of the campaign, that, uh, uh, again, that did not allow for a level playing field for all the parties. Um, how this election would influence U.S.-Ukraine relations? Would it be any influence? Well, uh, we will continue working with the government of Ukraine and with uh, the opposition parties in Ukraine to try to advance our relations. We will be working on it to support uh, political and economic reform in Ukraine and the, you know, the, the desire of Ukrainians themselves to, uh, to integrate more closely with Europe, because we think that that is, uh, a, that is where Ukraine's future lies and that we want to be supporting that process. Um, obviously, we've seen some problems in Ukraine in, in recent years in terms of democratic backsliding, and uh, we have encouraged the government of Ukraine, both publicly and privately, to address those problems, and we will continue to do that uh, in the months, the months ahead. There are, there are a lot of talks about possible sanctions. Uh, could you elaborate on that? Is there any well, talk? we prefer to engage with the government of Ukraine. Uh, rather than going down the road of sanctions, uh, we believe that trying to work with the government of Ukraine is going to be the most productive way uh, of, of achieving our common goals. Um, so we're going to continue pursuing that path. Um, and, uh, you know, I can't predict what will happen in the future, but that's our, our position at this point in time. Uh, taking the, the result and the process, uh, the ele this election process, do you think that, uh, that Ukrainian government in taking that, uh, that relationship seriously and do you see that Ukrainian government actually uh, stepping forward to, uh, to, to build a ba better relations with the United States and Europe? I think the Ukrainian government does want better relations with us uh, and with its European partners. Um, uh, the, the question is uh, how to achieve that. And I think our European partners have, have said that they would like to move forward with its association agreement, with a free trade agreement, but that it expects Ukraine to take certain steps in terms of democratic values 
that are in keeping with a closer integration with Europe. Those are things that we support and uh, we think are in Ukraine's interest, so we will keep working with our European partners and with Ukraine to try to make that happen. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. See?